And good evening, everybody. We are live again from Uchuki in the far north of Finnish Lapland. And we are standing right on the ice of the Tenno River. It just got dark enough a few minutes ago and the northern lights are already dancing in the sky. Look at this. We are so far north in Finland, you can see Norway on this picture, just a few meters in front of the camera. And we have already beautiful northern lights dancing in the sky. I hope that you can hear me. If you do, please let me know in the comments. We have Sarah again, hello. And Julie from Cambridge in the UK. Lynette, good evening. And Vicky from Alabama. Claudia from Brazil. Nice to have almost the whole world here. Bonsoir Claude. Bonsoir tous les francophones. J'espère que vous allez bien. Nous sommes à nouveau sur la rivière gelée à Uchoki, et nous sommes devant des magnifiques aurores boréales. Thank you, Sarah, for confirming that you can hear me. Let me show you the map. For the newcomers, we are here in the northernmost part of Finnish Lapland, and we are enjoying, again, a beautiful show of the Northern Lights. As always, I am open for questions and for entertainment. So let me know if you have any questions. Everything looks so bright tonight because it's uh, quite a bright moon and it's ni nicely lighting up the whole landscape. Bonsoir, Monica de Paris and Anna from Porto in Portugal. And we have Gis from Kittila. Good evening to you. Et Claude, oui, je suis français, comme on l'a découvert tout à l'heure. And Jamie from Calgary. And we are just missing the people in Asia and Australia. I think they will wake up soon.
of course. So we have a soft start of the evening. Bonsoir Thierry. Ah oui, le rugby, c'est important. Bah, Tiens-moi au courant du score, s'il te plaît. J'espère qu'on va gagner. Hein. And Anna, yes, it's growing a little bit. And Dale from St. Louis, Missouri, good uh, what is it? afternoon to you. Hope you had a good week. And of course, we really love sharing this with the whole world. Bonsoir, Sophie. And Christine as well. And we have Seina Yoki from Central Finland here. Hi, Anna. And Biggie, good uh, evening to you. The lights are becoming a little bit softer again. Of course, the bright moonlight is not really helping, but we have some good hopes for something nice. Let me check the solar wind data. Yeah, the numbers are quite okay for now. So we are staying together. No, it didn't vanish. There is still quite a bit of green. Let me show you, if you go a little bit more here, you can see the green just above the fells. And we need to be patient as always. I have good hope for a little bit bigger show in a short while, so Let's stay here together. And Michael, glad you liked the waterfall. And Sarah, hope to see you later again. Françoise, bonsoir. J'espère que tu vas bien. And Dale, indeed, I really, really love having people from all over the world seeing this with us. And we have some faint lights also up here, but for now, let's focus on what we have here. Bonsoir Joël and Phil, <laughs> don't jinx it please, <laughs> for now the network is good. We have some sustained 
negative BZ tonight and I'm hoping for some good lights. Last night we had eight minutes of northern lights and they were pretty spectacular but it's a little bit too short to get the stream ready and up and running and it was uh, it happened at 1 a.m so i also reckon that most of you are already sleeping but if you head back to i think my instagram stories you will see what happened at 1 a.m last night a very bright corona straight overhead and so far i think everything is working fine and Ivika, good evening to you. Happy to have you here as well. If you're joining us on YouTube, please remember to give the thumbs up to this video. It will help it being visible to even more people around the world. And of course, please subscribe to my channel. And Adele, good evening to you. It's quite early tonight. It's a quarter to 10 in the evening, in the night. It actually just got dark enough about half an hour ago. And the nights are getting shorter and shorter here in Uchoki. And in uh, about two and a half to three weeks, we won't be able to see the Northern Lights at all anymore. But fear not, we are working on some really cool idea of live streams to keep you entertained during the summer. So don't stop following us at the end of the season. We will be there in the midnight sun with all of you and trying to show you cool stuff in the bright season as well. And you can see some more green also now on the top of the screen and somebody driving on the snowmobile track here across the screen. Probably wondering what the hell these guys are doing here on the ice. And Rachel, good evening to you. We have a lovely chilly wind here on the river. And Carol, I, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. How do you remove the talking text? Maybe you're watching on the mobile and then you need to click on the, or to tap on the live chat icon then you 
are able to make it disappear, I assume, if that's what you mean. And the lights are growing again. The top part that you can see on the screen is a little bit more difficult to see to the naked eye due to the quite bright moonshine. But it's definitely there. You can see it here also on the right side. And now the green is getting brighter again. It's always difficult to choose the right time to start the stream because of course I don't want to waste your time either. And it looked really promising when we started. Now it has uh, faded a little bit, but I think that the numbers are really good enough so that we can hope a bigger event, unless of course it happened before when the sky was too bright. It has been really warm here the past couple of days. We had plus two, plus three, plus four degrees Celsius. So a lot of melting and then cold at night. So everything is very icy and slippery. The surface of the river here is very hard.
And the uh, green is getting a little bit brighter again. We have Kay here. Good uh, morning to you. So this is starting to look a little bit better now. The green is growing. And I hope we get a bigger show. It looks like now a little bit of action is starting. So, hi everybody, we are under the Northern Lights here in Uchuki. I'm standing here on the ice of the Tenno River. Norway is behind me. I don't know where is the border exactly, like a few meters that way. Of course, we are staying very legally in Finland here. And the Northern Lights are getting a little bit brighter and greener. The season is almost ending, so we are starting to be a little bit sad here, but we still have a few weeks to go and then we have the beautiful spring. I hope that we will be able to see a lot of birds here in the spring. And in the summer we will also show you the midnight sun. Just imagine now in the winter you're seeing the northern lights over there in the middle of the night and in the summer the sun is just going to move across the sky here and stay above the horizon and then continue its course and we are going to see that between I think second half of May until late July so that's also a really cool show but yeah until about at least 10th of April we get some nice northern lights and we have nice green here. The numbers are quite positive. I'm really hoping for a bigger show. It's getting brighter there and there. But of course we never know. It's the beauty of nature. Let me focus back on the sky. As I said, it's the beauty of nature. Sometimes we just get this. And sometimes we get really big shows. But we are having full batteries and I think a good network connection. So for now, we are staying here together. Bonsoir Valérie and good evening Benyada from Sweden.
and Mars54, I'm pretty sure this is not your real name, but that's all I have to call you about. Yes, the wildlife here is amazing. We have a lot of migrating birds coming from, the, from Africa and Southern Europe. Um, they'll start arriving around the end of May, sorry, around the end of April, and that's their breeding grounds here in the far north. So I'm really excited about that and I have a lot of ideas of vlogs that I can do about that and getting ready about this. So stay tuned to see all this. I think it's going to be hard to show the wildlife in live streams, but I will be sharing a lot on my YouTube channel. And the green is getting a little bit brighter and we have also some action here. I think that this is going to be it. It's starting there and I think that's usually when the bright stuff starts and it's getting brighter and brighter. So ladies and gentlemen, get ready for action. Yeah, yes, yes, it's getting nice.
So this little beam is going straight up to the sky. Of course the moonshine is uh, making it a little bit more difficult to see. And yes indeed so many stars despite the nearly full moon that's quite incredible. And we have Ella here, good evening to you. I don't know, maybe I got excited a little bit too fast. This is fading again, but still quite a clear sign of some activity possibly happening. And while we're at it, let me show you where we are. Now, this is our little piece of heaven on earth on the shore of the Tenno River. We have the bright moon on top of the cottages of Aurora Holidays here in Uchoki on the far north of Finnish Lapland. And look where we are here in Uchoki in the northernmost part of Finnish Lapland. We are on the shore of the Tenno River. And by the way, guys, this is really night. It's the middle of the night here. It's 10 p.m. It's just that the moon is really bright and casting a lot of light on the snow that's reflecting all this light. And we would really love to have you here next season in Uchoki. We are in an amazing place. We have an amazing setup here. It's really one of the best places to spot the northern lights, take pictures and enjoy your time in Lapland. So I know from Tina that some um, um, weeks are getting pretty busy, especially around Christmas time and a couple of weeks of March, which are March is some of the most promising weeks to see the Northern Lights. And Crystal, thank you for the technical advice. Yes, that indeed that gear option uh, to turn off the captions, if that was the, the question indeed. And um, yeah, as I was saying, those weeks are getting busy and we are getting more and more bookings. So make sure to check out auroraholidays.net. The link is on the bottom left of the image. And I think that Tina has been posting it as well in the comments. We would really, really love to have you here. I mean, this would be the best support that we can dream of. Um, those cottages are so amazing, really, really cozy. We have, of course, this amazing access to the river and every cottage has its own sauna. And just imagine you step out of your cottage and you just see the beautiful northern lights in the sky like here and there is the very nice restaurant that you could also see on the image and you will have an amazing time here in Lapland so auroraholidays.net check out the bottom left of the image if you're a photographer I'm running a photography workshop in the first week of January next year we have a, only a couple of spots left and here we go, we have some more lights up here in the sky with some clear beams. So let's see what this is going to turn into.
So, yes, the Aurora is a little bit tired of dancing for eight minutes yesterday night. But that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. We have to wait sometimes. And you never know when it's going to wake up. So for now, we are live. And we are staying live. It's quite early, it's only quarter past 10 here in Finland. And a lot of you are in one or two hours earlier time zone compared to us. So I think it's not so hard to stay awake. And we are really enjoying the northern lights and the weight and the excitement of the chase up here in Uchuki. So stay with us and hopefully we get a nice surprise at some point. numbers are still good. So it can still happen at any moment. But sometimes we just need to wait for a couple of hours. Sometimes it's just immediate. And that's Mother Nature. And unfortunately, that's not really something we can control.
So everybody, the northern lights are being quite shy tonight. And we've been live for 48 minutes, as I can see. I'm suggesting that I will take a break with this live stream. I'm leaving everything running here on the river. And as soon as something bigger is happening, we will start a new stream. So stay tuned, hit those notification bells. And when we go back live, you will be the first to know. I'm just looking at the sky at the same time. To see if it's not premature to say this. There's some small faint action here, but yeah, let's uh, let's meet again in a short while, and in the meantime, I will go get warm again for a little while. So thank you for following and hopefully see you soon again when some bigger lights are appearing in the sky. <laughs>